You can play a game without knowing anything about probability. You can even win a game if you're very lucky without knowing anything about probability. If you want to win a game consistently, you should know at least a little something about probability. And if you want to design a game, a fair game, a non-video game, or even an unfair game, you should know a little bit more about probability. So let's start by talking about what is probability. Probability, first and foremost, is a fraction. Okay, it's a fraction that represents how likely something is to happen. Where do you get this fraction from? Well, first, you have to decide what activity you're talking about. And in probability, you're usually talking about what is called an experiment. Now, we use words in math sometimes differently than we use them in science. The word experiment here doesn't mean the image that might be conjured up in your mind. It has nothing to do with test tubes or lab reports or launching a rocket or anything else you can imagine. Experiment here simply means any activity you can observe. Now, for our purposes, we're going to talk about activities that have a defined successful or a defined unsuccessful outcome. Some ask some things activity, we're going to try and keep it to ones where, of all the things that can happen, some of them are what we want to happen and some of them are not. Okay, well, we've got some more words to define to be able to have this conversation. So an experiment, anything you can do that you can observe, where there's an outcome you can observe, preferably measure, okay? So you have an experiment. How many things can happen in your experiment? Well, that depends. If your experiment is as simple as flipping a coin, there are two things that can happen. If your experiment is rolling a six-sided die, there are six things that can happen. The things that can happen in your experiment are called the sample space. And the sample space is every possible outcome of your experiment. So you've got an experiment. You're going to do something. You're going to flip a coin. You're going to roll a die. You're going to roll two die if it's backgammon. You're going to flip a coin to see which team starts the match. You run your experiment, it has a sample space. That's everything that can happen. Let's write down some of these possibilities, just so you have some examples. Okay, so, sample space. For a coin flip, the sample space is heads or tails. For a single die roll, thinking of a single six-sided die, sample space is the number that we see on the top of the die after we roll it. These are the lists of our sample space for these experiments, for these activities. Okay? So you run an experiment, a bunch of things can happen, that's called a sample space. Now, what else do we need to talk about? Well, sometimes we don't particularly care equally about all of our outcomes. So we have to talk about something called events. An event is some part of your sample space that you are defining differently. That sounds a little bit weird. Some people get stuck on this. The sample space is everything that can happen. An event is some combination of things in your sample space that when they happen, you treat differently. For example, an event might be rolling an even number on a six 
two-sided die. Okay, well, the only things in that event are two, four, and six. So we're defining that event. That event takes up three things in our sample space. So how do we find the probability of this event? Well, let's see. The probability of an event is a fraction, like I said, and it's equal to the number of ways the event can happen divided by the number of things that can happen. So it's really the number of things in your event divided by the number of things in your sample space. Your sample space, remember, is everything that can happen. Your event is something you've arbitrarily chosen, and it's a small part of your sample space. So for example, if I say I want to know the probability of the likelihood that I will roll an even number on a six-sided die, well, I've got three things in my event and six things in my sample space. So let's take a look at that. Let's see what happens here. Okay, the probability of rolling an even number equals three. Where'd I get that three from? There are three things in my event. Three of the elements of my event are in my sample, are will describe rolling an even number. There are six things in my sample space. So probability is one half, what I get from reducing the fraction. Now, this is a fairly simple example. I'm going on a bit because I really want you guys to get used to these words. Event is a subset, okay? It's a smaller amount of the things in your sample space. Sample space is everything that can happen. That is basic probability. Sometimes the examples get a little bit more interesting. Key comes down to counting. We'll talk in a minute about how counting can be more difficult than it sounds.